Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So if you are coming to this video from the California video, welcome. If you have not seen the California video, make sure you guys check down below. I did a video on what it's like to live in California and common misconceptions or myths about California. So make sure you guys go watch that video. But this video is gonna be all about my experience living in Colorado Springs, why I love living there, why I wish we could live there, and I will talk about a little bit why we can't. So yeah, I wanted to start off with, just like I did on the California video, I'm gonna start off with the myths, 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 common perceptions of Colorado Springs, what I agree with and what I don't agree with. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is the thing that everybody is already thinking as soon as you clicked on this video. I'm just gonna go ahead and start off the video with it, is that everyone who lives there smokes pot. It's true. I'm just kidding, it's not true. A lot of people, a lot of people, myself included, never touched pot a day they were in Colorado. Like, there's tons of people who don't use marijuana or cannabis that live in Colorado. And Colorado just recently became like known for that and it kind of sucks because Colorado has a lot, mu a lot more to offer than just medical marijuana, or I guess not even medical, just marijuana. Like it's not, that's not all that Colorado is good for, okay? And it is becoming legal in a lot more states, so hopefully that perception will not stick around for too much longer. What is true is that there are dispensaries throughout Colorado Springs and other parts of Colorado. Um, people do use it, obviously, just like everywhere else, whether it's legal or not, but it is not something that every single person you come in contact with is gonna smell like pot or smokes pot, so that's not true. So if you're worried about that, don't worry about it. Another thing I hear a lot, and I heard a lot, a lot when I first moved to California as a teenager, everybody would always ask me, oh, so do you snowboard? Oh, so you must know how to snowboard. Oh, so you've been skiing? What's your favorite resort? Um, I've never snowboarded or skied in my entire life. I know, shocking. And now I probably won't ever actually, it's kind of sad when you think about it because now I have a hip injury and like, bunch of other health stuff going on. I just don't think that it's in my cards. Maybe someday I'll like go up there and experience it just for the sake of saying that I've done it, but it's not gonna be like I'm actually gonna go snowboarding because I just don't feel like my body's healthy enough to handle that at this point, but maybe, maybe someday. Um, but no, that's not true. I mean, at least not for this girl. Like I've lived in Colorado up until I was 16 years old and I never ever went snowboarding or skiing. So there's that. There are lots of beautiful snowboarding and skiing resorts in Colorado Springs. Um, a couple of our favorites are Breckenridge. Breckenridge is my favorite. I used to love Vail. Like Vail was the place that was like where my heart was and I was last time we lived there, just fell in love with Breckenridge. It's such a great town. If you guys have not been there yet and you live in Colorado or you're visiting, make sure you go. They have a cute little like town walk with a bunch of restaurants and shops and all the fun stuff. And they have a nice resort and they have lots of nice places to stay. It's just, it's really nice. Um, it's a really cool place to go. So if you guys are looking for a fun mountain vacation, definitely check out Breckenridge, Colorado. Everybody is a mountain person and or has a beard. Not true. <laughs> um, a lot of people, I mean, everywhere I guess have beards, but a lot of people don't also. Um, not everybody likes the mountains. Not everybody has even been in the mountains. I know people who have lived in Colorado Springs area where we lived um, their whole life and never have gone up to the mountains, which is crazy, but it's true. <laughs> um, some people just don't. It's just like the beach. Some people lived in Cal Southern California their whole life and they've only been to the beach once so they never go. So it's just kind of not true. Um, but there's a good chance that if you run into somebody in Colorado or from Colorado, they're gonna tell you that they do love the mountains because you can't not love the mountains. Like, it's just, it's gorgeous, you know? A lot of people know that Colorado is known for having fresh air and clean water, and that is true. And just kind of to put that in perspective for you guys, like, I am a water brat. I only drink bottled water or filtered water. I cannot, cannot drink water from a tap and I cannot drink even certain bottled waters. Like Arrowhead is disgusting. I don't like Dasani either. Like I'm very picky about my water and I will drink tap water. I will drink my freaking hose in Colorado because it's like, it's that good. It's so tasty. I trust that it's mostly clean. Like I just, I feel safer drinking that tap water. I would never ever, ever in a million years drink the tap water from this apartment in California. I would never, ever, ever drink the tap water here in California, no. And the air is fresher there. I know Ryan, my husband, he has asthma. When he's in Colorado, he feels like literally a weight has been lift lifted off of his lungs. He feels like he can breathe better. But 
there is higher elevation in California. So that may not be the case for everybody. The elevation can affect you um, and kind of like, uh, what's the word? Kind of like counteract the benefits of the fresh air because if you're not used to high elevation, you can get elevation sickness or have problems with that. So keep that in mind if you're visiting or planning to move. If you have any serious health conditions, elevation could be a problem on that note. That's why we can't move back there because my son has a heart condition if you guys don't know and the elevation over there is just really really hard for him to live a normal daily life he has to be on oxygen and he just has a lot of complications so that's why we don't live there so if you have any serious heart um, complications or anything like that just make sure you guys talk to your doctors before making any decisions and moving to a high elevation place like colorado because it truly can impact the quality of your life if you're sensitive to stuff like that but if you don't have problems with elevation, like me, average person, I don't have any problems with it, it's probably not gonna affect you. Maybe a little bit at the beginning, but not really. I had asked friends and family to send me things that they thought about Colorado or things that people have told them, whether they're from there or whatever. And one of my friends told me that people have told her that you can like walk outside and go on a hike, that hiking is everywhere. And then another person told me that everyone wears hiking boots. So both of those are not true. I actually never had hiking boots, I don't think. Maybe I got them for camp or something when I was a kid, but I never had hiking boots until Ryan got them when we went to Tahoe. So um, that's not true. And hiking in Colorado, it depends on what your definition of hiking is, but to actually go hiking, you have to drive there. Um, it's not close by if you want to go like hiking on a trail and just go jogging like outside and there's like some like, you know Difficulty you could probably drive a few minutes um, the place we would normally go to oh, I think it was called like Red Rocks I don't even remember I'll put it right here if I remember I, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll be able to look it up, but it's this place um, That was about 15 20 minutes away from where we lived so, and we were in the northern part of Colorado Springs, um, and there's lots of hiking places, yes, but you have to drive to them, just like California. I could probably find just as many hiking spots here in California as I could in Colorado. So it's not like it's that different, it's just that there's more intense hikes in Colorado and higher mountains, obviously, but it's just not as easy as you would think. Okay, so now that we've gotten past all the myths about Colorado, I just wanna to talk to you guys about some things that I don't like and some things that I do like about Colorado. So I'm gonna start with things that I don't like, just to be fair, because that's how I did the California video. Things that I don't like, um, Colorado Springs specifically is growing very fast. It's growing very fast. A lot of people are moving there. Housing prices are going up. There's more people everywhere now. There's more traffic and stuff. It's not as bad as California. The crime is going up. Like I said, cost of living is going up. It's just getting busier because people are moving there. They're building on to places that used to be open fields and pretty like landscapes. They're kind of building on to that stuff, which kind of sucks. That's one thing I don't like is that it's kind of getting ruined by population growth and people coming there, which is fine, but it, you know, it's part of life, it happens, but it's sad. So just keep in mind, a lot of other people are thinking about moving to Colorado Springs. So if you're moving to Colorado, just do your research and maybe you look at other towns too, just to kind of make sure you're really good with that decision because Colorado Springs is not what it used to be. Um, I know that I left there in 2015, four, 16, 2016, I think. Went back in 2000 and, I'm sorry, I left in 2006. Went back in 2008, and then again in 2011, and then again in 2015 to live. And between 2011 and 2015, four years, it changed tremendously. It was almost unrecognizable. I would like not know where I was when we first moved there. And they'd be like, wait, what? Things have grown so much in certain areas that they literally don't look anything like they used to look when I was a kid or even a few years ago. So things have changed a lot. So if you're from Colorado Springs and you're thinking about moving back, it's just not what it used to be, but it's still a great place. Another thing I don't particularly like about Colorado Springs is, and it is changing. This is, this is changing. This is a good thing about growth, but because of my newer dietary restrictions, if I was to move back there now, I'd have a harder time eating out, vegan and um, stuff like that. That's not as easy. It's definitely possible and it, again, the growth is happening and I, I personally found new places popping up towards the end of our last time living there, but it's just not as easy in, as in California. So there's that. Honestly, that's about it. That's the only thing that I don't really like about Colorado. <laughs> Um, if you don't like cold weather, you're not going to like Colorado to live because the winters are very hard. If you like seasons, it's the place to be, guys. Like, Colorado has it all. It has 
summer, fall, winter, and spring, everything. It's gorgeous. Like living in Colorado is a dream. <laughs> Things I love about Colorado Springs is that there's a lot of stuff to do um, outdoors. So if you like being outside, you're gonna love Colorado. Um, I love that there are a lot of small towns nearby. We used to have chickens in our backyard in Colorado Springs. Um, we, and I know you can do that in a lot of places. I'm just talking about our life in Colorado Springs. The school districts are okay. They're not amazing, but they're not as bad as some school districts in California. What else? The taxes are way, way, way lower in Colorado. The cost of living in general is lower in Colorado than in a lot of places. Now, if you live in the South somewhere like a Texas or Mississippi or something, cost of living is going to be higher in Colorado, but it is a lower cost of living place. And there's still lots of opportunity um, job-wise and like career-wise in Colorado with Denver being like a central hub for a lot of businesses and the mountain towns and everything kind of anything that you want to do you can do in Colorado honestly my biggest thing that I love about Colorado is the weather I know that a lot of people don't like it because it is temperamental but the weather is super unpredictable in Colorado you're not going to be able to put away your summer clothes or your winter clothes really ever, ever because the weather changes like literally from day to night like it can be snowing in the morning and super high like three o'clock so okay so i feel kind of bad because i don't really have anything else to say about colorado just because i really love it i can't really think of anything negative to say um and if you guys watched my california video i talked about the price of housing and taxes in that video so if you guys want to kind of see more of a comparison between california and colorado i talked about it more in that video but if you're thinking about moving to colorado do it like i'm not gonna lie if if you're thinking about doing it do it the Benefits for children with special needs if that's why you're watching this video um, Are better in Colorado. I will say that in California. It's been harder to get prescriptions filled. It's been harder to um, Get just like Medicaid and that kind of stuff for Dash um, So in Colorado, it was so easy and out here. It's a lot harder the Down syndrome community in Colorado If you guys have a child with Down syndrome is amazing. They're great there is a great community here in California as well, but if you're looking specifically into, into Colorado, it's great. I don't really have anything else to say, guys. I really, really love it there. I think it's a great place to raise a family or just to live on your own. There's lots of different types of culture there, so whether you're into kind of a slower paced lifestyle or like a busy city lifestyle, you can find both in Colorado. Colorado, you can also find like the mountain lifestyle there. You can go live in the mountains and not talk to people out there. I, I genuinely don't know what else to say, so I'm just gonna end it at that. Cal Colorado is hands down my favorite place in the United States that I've ever been. And if I could live anywhere, I would live in the mountains in a town called Frisco. So if you have not heard of that, look into it. If you're looking for a mountain town that's still like kind of close to Denver and still accessible to things that you may need that are not in smaller mountain towns, look into that town, Dillon, Frisco, that area. That is where I would live. But like I said, do your research. There's so many different places you could live there, so many different lifestyles you could have there. The possibilities are literally endless and it's a great place to live. So I hope this video helped you out. I'm sorry I can't talk on this as much as I did on California, but that's probably a good thing because if you're thinking about moving to Colorado, hopefully I gave you peace of mind that this is a beautiful place to live. I will insert some clips slash pictures that I have of the landscape there, lifestyle there. And if you guys are living there or moving there or whatever and you want my tips on places to go visit or whatever, feel free to comment down below or send me a message on Instagram and I would be happy to help you guys out. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in my next one. So good at pretending Keep on smiling in my tiny bubble Like a movie without ending Spending time like it was going backwards This is covering my walls but they fall down Diving deeper than the books that we read blind Breathing in and breathing out to get smarter uh, Not working out for me, yeah, yeah Okay, really quick, I also wanted to add, make sure you buy lots of chapstick because and lotion for your hands because the dry and the cold are not nice to your lips or your hands. You're welcome. <laughs>